Hello everyone, this is Voltage Development, and welcome back to another tutorial. So, in this tutorial, I am going to be, hopefully, helping you guys on the camera system in Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, I've got this all set up, because, um, well, I did actually try to record this video earlier on today, but that video got corrupted, so I kind of wasted, like, half an hour of my life then, but... If we're going into, um, hang on a minute, the uh, stage uh, image right here, we've got uh, these animations down here, and I've got the animations as camera 1B, so that's the uh, dining area, camera 1C, which is Paraco, uh, camera 2A, the hallway, which is, um, you know, looping, there we go, too much, I know, um, camera 2B, which is the left corner so i've got all of them cameras set up in this active i'm actually going to call it a uh, stage and i've also got the office set up too and we're just going to call this you know office just so that we know and also i've got these uh things set up now this active is going to be called the camera switch so that we can switch between the stage and the office and this is of course going to be called the map and in the map we've actually got the uh, animation sequences as well which is camera 1b, 1c, 2a, 2b you know so on and so forth so now I forgot to add this in so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an active and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off snapping and we're going to bring this active over one of the cameras and we're going to stretch it out so that it covers the entire camera and then we're going to paint it with, I don't know, yellow because that's very, very bright colour and we're going to obviously clone it <coughs> so that we can cover other cameras with this exact same active. Okie dokie, so now I have actually uh, placed all of the different actives around, or sorry, inside of the cameras, and I have named them Cam 1A, Cam 1B, Cam 1C. Basically, the actives are the cameras, and I've got to make sure that they... Actually, I'm going to make that one visible, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click on that, and then shift-click the others like so damn it damn it damn it damn it damn it damn it don't do that don't do that don't do that shoot shoot crap uh okay let's go whoo i thought i was gonna do something drastic then so now i have all of them selected i can now do uh, invisible at start so now if i check on one of them or all of them they are now invisible at start so, let's take a look at this now. So now the cameras have, well, no actives on them. That is really, really good at the moment. So now what we can do is we can actually bring in two counters. So, let's bring in this one. And you know what, let's make it bigger. And also, change the colour of it so that we can see it on the screen as well. So now that we have changed the colour of it, we're actually going to clone it. So that we don't have to, you know, redo that for the next counter that we're going to create. So, we've got two counters now. So, one is going to be called the camera on off button. Or, no, it's not button, counter. And this one is going to be called a uh, current camera. Because this counter is going to display the, the uh, number of the camera that we are currently on but because it technically can't do letters wait what can it can it actually do letters wait i'm gonna try this so um start off frame let's go to current camera um uh, let's set the counter to one a ah syntax error so yeah you can't put letters inside of wait can you do um, 1A. Nope, okay. So you can't do that either. So it has to be numbers. So let's just do, uh, let's just get rid of that. 
Now, get rid of the star frame as well. So we've got these two counters. Now, to differentiate them, we're going to put this counter down here at the bottom, and we're going to make this one slightly bigger and make it right next to the map so that we know which one's which. Actually, let's just make this closer to the camera switch so that we know that that is that. So now, what we're going to do is we are going to do mouse pointer uh, is clicking on the camera switch and with the camera on off we are going to add one to the counter. I know that in Final Fantasy Freddy's you hover over the camera switch but in this instance I'm going to be clicking on the camera rather than hovering over it. So added one to the counter so now once the camera on off is equal to zero but we're actually going to copy and paste this two times like that so now if the camera is not on then we make sure that the stage is invisible same as the map there we go now when the camera on off is equal to one then we make sure that the stage is of course reappearing same as the map now here camera on off when that is greater than one then of course we are going to set the camera on off back to uh yeah 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 zero <laughs> i know what i'm doing i totally know what i'm doing so <laughs> let's have a look at what this is doing at the moment. So we're in the office right now, so let's just click this. So now this appears, and then it goes. So now what we're gonna do is, we are going to uh, do mouse pointer, is clicking on, let's just say cam 1A, but also make sure that you drag the camera on off equals one underneath the uh, clicking of cam 1A so that you can't click on the camera whilst you're inside of the office because if you just had it as that you can still click on the camera even though you can't see the map if that makes sense so you probably already knew that but you know what I'm clearing all of this up so this can help every single one of you so now when the user clicks on cam 1A and the camera is on then we are going to set camera or current camera to one but because this stage is already as uh, camera one we can do a simple star frame set counter to one of uh, current camera because because when you open up the camera you're already on the stage that is why we're setting the start of frame um, current camera to one, so there's so that it's already on the stage. So yeah, stage is uh, that number. So yeah, <laughs> so now <sighs> glad I got that underway. <laughs> so now let's just um, copy that. Uh, event and I apologize if I'm very jittery with my uh, explanations I've been doing a lot of coding in unity and it's kind of strange to come back to click team fusion so I'm doing this for all of you but if you guys want me to do uh, tutorials in coding in, in unity please do let me know because I would be more than happy to give you tutorials in coding in unity Oh yeah, so yeah, uh, let's just get back to this. <laughs> so, user clicks the left button on cam 1B this time, and that will set the counter to 2. Now, why am I setting a counter to these numbers for the different camera images? And why am I not just clicking on camera 1A and just setting the animation sequence to the actual images themselves. Well, I will show you why soon. So bear with me for now. 
So now, let's just duplicate this uh, two more times, because I'm not going to do the entire camera map, because that will be a bit tedious, but let's do camera 1C and then camera, camera 3. So then, um, camera 1C would be um, 3. Yep, and camera three would te would be technically five, because um, because actually no, hang on, no no sorry that would be six sorry, because if we were to do um two A and two B that would be uh four and five, so we're gonna do six, so now if we um you know open up the uh frame. Let's click on camera 1B, it was set to 2, camera 1C set to 3, and now camera 3 set to 6, as we have declared. So now, uh, let's go on to n new condition, and if the camera, if the current camera is equal to 1, then, but also, if the camera on off is equal to one as well. Make sure you do that always. Let's just change the animation sequence uh, for stage from whatever animation sequence is currently on to stopped because camera one is cam one A. So now let's do this again for um, cam two. Change the animation sequence to camera 1B and then current camera equals 3 and then change the animation sequence to cam 1C and now when the current camera is equal to 6, not 4 or 5 because we've jumped a couple cameras, so now Let's change the animation sequence to, and let's scroll down to camera three because we skipped those two. So now, let's have a look at this. So camera one B. Why does it do that? I had the exact same problem before when I was recording this before. I don't get why it's actually doing that. Like it shouldn't actually be doing that. For some reason it is though. So, but it works because one C is power curve, and you can see it, and three is the um, closet or something, and one B is dining room. And when we go back here, it will be back to this. So it does work, but for some reason the imaging is very very weird. Also, I'm not sure if you noticed, but the map didn't update either. So, what we can do is we can just because, I'll show you this, because in the map, we have um, camera 1B, 1C, 2A, 2B, 3, 4, 5, because they, the animations, are exactly the same as these animations down here, we can actually just drag and drop. So drag this over to here, and over to here, and over to here, and over to here, because up here, because over here is the map. So, let's just try this out now. So, 1B. Why is it doing that? And, uh, why? I don't get what is happening here. Like... Okay, let's just look at the hotspot. So the hotspot is over there. Okie dokie. So it's still over there. Like, wait. Hotspot. Why is... Wait, oh! Wait, I? View hotspot. View... Oh. I get it now. That... <laughs> am I an... Uh, I'm really an idiot. It's, it's... I was always looking at view action point. Not the actual hotspot. I thought that was the hotspot over there. But it's not. I've been an idiot this entire time. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'll be right back. Okie dokie, so I am back. This is the, this is exactly what happens when I'm away from this game engine for a long time. 
That is exactly what happens. So, <laughs> let's go back into the frame and check this out. And why is my click team not responding? I am actually recording with a different screen recorder this time. But if we click on uh, camera 1B, it's back to normal. So now... Excuse me. Okay, let's have a look. Have I... Did I not, actually? Why did I not? Am I really in... Oh, my God. Really? Oh. See... This is why playtesting is like the most crucial thing when it comes to game development. You have to playtest every single thing, otherwise there could be just a single single bug somewhere. So now it finally works. So yeah, dining room, pirate cove, and also the closet. So there you have it. I have now saved this entire MFA, and this MFA will be available in the description. So. I hope this all helped you out, everyone. So thank you so much for watching. And maybe in the next video you'll see, like, your Unity tutorials or something. I'm not sure yet. But, as I said, I hope this all helped you out. If you have any questions, don't, be, don't hesitate to ask. I will try to help you as best as I can. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.